I have no friends, no money, and don't know anyone. Being a solo developer is bad. Well, Rickety, that is a controversial belief you're putting out there. Who are you to judge what other people do? Okay, let me explain myself. I'm not saying you should hate on solo developers or that they should not exist. I believe people should be able to freely choose what they want to do in their life. If you are starting out, getting your feet wet in the game development industry isn't a bad thing. That's how we all start. I see games like Bloxburg work at a pizza place, Lethal Company, which were all made by solo developers. And that story alone can inspire you to become a solo developer and rack in all those doubloons for yourself, but slow your carts down. Is that the mindset you should adopt? First of all, there's no interaction with people. We humans are not evolved to live independently from one another. And I believe some human interaction is healthy for a person to have as it teaches us how to be kind, teaches us to read people's facial expressions, teaches us to have a sense of courage to be able to talk to someone new. In this day and age, you see parents giving kids smartphones and tablets as things to distract them. And while it is the parents' responsibility to limit screen time, that's a perfect world scenario. And not everyone is responsible or even knows that it damages their kids' social interaction. So in a world where everything is online, conversations happening mostly through text, if you think saying memes and doing silly Roblox dances in real life is socially acceptable, please reevaluate. Not everyone in the world knows about memes, but on the bright side, you can definitely learn to interact with people. If you get blocked, ask yourself why. Why did you send your Krabby Patties to this girl? Don't just sit there and be like, wow, the world must not get my humor. There is a Discord community that I personally use to work with other developers called Hidden Devs and Roblox official place to hire developers, which is the Talent Hub. Working with others is important as you can learn to utilize other people's skills to help you develop your game. You'll learn how to negotiate, how to develop connections, and how to manage people so that they don't hate you. As a solo game developer, you won't learn these important skills because all your time and energy is being used on learning to become a a solo developer. Which leads me to my second point is that it takes too much time to learn all these skills that are required to make a quality game. In my perspective of what a solo developer is like is that they are the ones who handle everything which includes UI scripting, marketing, ETC. A normal person like you and me could take a really long time to develop these skills and some of these skills you might not even be happy doing or are just forced to do which therefore can lead to a lesser quality in the product. Time is very valuable. If you focus your skill set in one skill, you will become a master of that one skill. So learn to specialize. Everyone is different and we excel in different things. The majority of people are not going to have a perfect skill set and we should not strive for perfection in all traits as that could be taxing on you as a person. And you may not have money to hire developers, but what you can do is build a portfolio of the skill you are trying to aspire to be really good at and then you can start selling your skill. Trust me that process is way easier and funner and less time consuming than trying to be good in all development skills that you need to make a game. Also I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't benefit from hiring Roblox developers. I myself am a Roblox developer who has been doing commissions for the past three months so so I do have an incentive to bring people to hire other people for their skill, but that's just life. People hire people for skills all the time. It is no different than trying to get a job in the real world. I am trying to create jobs so that other developers like yourself can earn money or spend your money so you don't need to waste time on learning a new skill. If a person were to create a solo game, they are not really benefiting anyone except themselves. Sorry, but it's true. Unless you're doing it for a good cause like building an educational game for the community, which no one plays by the way, you will earn 100% of the income from your game. Well actually you earn 30% due to DevX. 
But still, you gain all of the profit if you were not to hire anyone while building the game. But anyways, if you know anyone who is a solo developer, do not harass these people as they earned their money and can freely do whatever they want with it. But I am trying to inspire or educate the solo developers to try and create a team because although you may have a great idea in mind, hiring people will get you faster to the goal and make other people grateful for the opportunity opportunity you have provided and also create amazing games for the community. Now, let's see why a person would want to become a solo developer. There could be more reasons than what I can come up with, so if you got reasons, please comment them down below. I'm sure people can learn from them to make their own decision. First reason is money. But I already covered that topic, which is just gaining 100% of the revenue for the game. So let's go on to my second reason, which would be to show other people that the game they built is 100% made by them. They want to be able to say, I built this successful game all by myself. And if they did that, they can make your game successful too. Okay, so let's be real here. If a solo developer were to make a successful game and try to get hired by employers, do they even really? need to be hired the solo developer does not need the job therefore why not just make another game as a solo developer what i would recommend for those successful developers is use that money they gained from their game and hire people to either make more games or hire people to update their successful game and just run with it but you see my point both of those would require them to have skills to hire people in the first place and they might be hard on an employee who is working on their game because they are expecting the worker to be high quality. Look, you can have all the pretty patties in the world. Look, you can have all the Robux in the world, but if you are just a horrible manager, people can quit the job. Well, what's the other option? Retire the game, posting no updates, which will then make the game die? Come on, that's, that's laughable. You do not want your game to die. That's how you're making the money in the first place. So that's not even an option. If you look at big companies in the real world, they're trying to hire people. Even Adopt Me has hired people to make their game running. So going back to my point, why would you want to build your game solo? If your game does not turn out successful, it is not even worth showing it to employers in the first place. I mean, you could, but employers will be like, eh, it's whatever. It's only a hundred visits. I doubt they'd even check your game out. You put that on your resume and people won't even bat an eye. On the other hand, if you said you hired a team of developers and that you can work with multiple people and also now you have the communication skills to do an interview, you will have a higher chance of being looked into although your game hasn't been successful. This is what is called soft skills and in today's age soft skills are also important. And I honestly wish I knew these things before becoming a solo game developer but now I've thought about it. Now I work with a team of people to create ideas so if you know someone who is thinking of becoming one send them this video to help them and anyways subscribe for more development content. See you in the next one.